Hello YouTube, this is Caleb Waller Ashton Clone, back with another video. Slightly different this time, sort of not game related really, but media related more or less. But does any of you remember Superbit at all? Well don't be surprised if you don't, because Superbit is a very little known um, format of media that um, actually played films on, and it's basically a more advanced version of the classic DVD video. Now basically, Superbit's certain so super bit titles are actually quite rare i mean this one example arnold schwarzenegger's last action hero um, which has come from japan this is one of the rarer titles but if you do look on ebay you do see a lot of super bit titles but they're all the same uh, titles mainly one of the more common titles are the fast and the furious which you can see a lot of on ebay but this particular version is region 2 from japan and i was lucky to find this when i did because i actually really loved the movie so they basically come on these little pretty slip covers and then at the bottom here you've got a brief translation basically superbit takes away everything about the dvd and it leaves just the picture so all the special features all the extras that they cram on dvds they take all of that away and they use all the 4.7 gigs or how much whatever dvds have the 4.7 gigs of data is used mainly on the picture so the bit rate goes much higher than standard DVDs if I put that to a side this is what a standard DVD looks like one of my favorite films by the way but standard DVDs when you look on it you've got extra features which take up the whole space on the um, DVD and obviously DVDs now are a bit dated and old because the picture quality is now um, basically taken away with HD DVD replaced with Blu-ray um, so we've got much higher quality um, movies to watch on, a uh, better medium. But these are traditional DVDs. If you look inside one, basically, we've all seen what a DVD looks like. And that is what a typical DVD looks like. Back to Superbit. Now, Superbit came out probably around the early noughties, when DVD was really popular. Basically, it tried to take off and it failed. Uh, nobody really bought the uh, Super Bits. They were a lot more expensive than normal DVDs. And the quality, even though it's much better, it's not a huge amount of difference. And don't forget, Blu-ray has got much, much higher bits than Super Bit. But Super Bit is better than standard DVD. Now, all you've got basically on this Super Bit, even though it's in Japanese, I know all about Super Bit. All you've got is the picture. You've got no special features. It just takes you straight to the, the film. And considering this is made in the 80s or 90s, the quality is really good. It's impressive, especially if you use a DVD upscaler or a PS3 that upscales your DVDs to HD quality. This will do a really good job on that as well. So basically, not all of them come with this shiny case. Um, some of them actually released in Europe, like France, came in special little tiny futuristic cases. But if you look more on that on eBay, then you'll know what I mean. Basically, there's just the, uh, the translation into Japanese. And we'll have a look at quickly what a super bit looks like. These are what they typically come on. So you don't actually have a custom picture. They all just say super bit. And then you've got the title down there, which says last action hero. Sony Pictures, blah, blah, blah. And then basically Superbit looks a little bit more like a Blu-ray where it's slightly darker in colour. It's not full silver, chrome, sort of shiny, mirrored effect. Sort of deeper because it's got more... Um, it's basically got the same data on, same 4.7 gigabytes, but you've got um, all of that now used up for the picture quality. Um, I suggest you actually try and buy these because they do go for cheap on eBay. Not this specific title because, like I said, some titles are pretty rare and hard to find. But if you want to pick up The Fast and the Furious or um, what else is on Superbit, well, basically, if you look on there, you'll see. But some titles go between 5 and £10, which is not bad. Great idea to start your own DVD Superbit collection. And it's really a good investment because I never knew anything about Superbit until a few months ago. So... I think try out one of these because I think they're awesome and they're nice to have as a conversation piece. Thanks for watching, take care and there's a more new video soon to come.